Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel here. Today we are taking a look at the Algo Laser Pixie. This is one of their new smart laser engravers with an enclosure. And what we're going to do in this video today is we're going to take a look at the contents. We're going to take a quick look over the actual machine itself, some of the features it's got. And we'll also take a look at the actual screen, which is one of its unique features. Um, the actual project side of it, so laser cutting, I'm going to do in a, a feature video after this one. So this particular video is just taking a look over the machine itself, the capabilities, etc. So stay with us and let's take a look at the brand new Algo Laser Pixie. Okay, so one of its um, main features is the fact that you have a laser that is fully built and ready to go. There isn't much to it which is obviously going to feature really, really well with people that are novices, you know, intermediate users of lasers. So let's take a look at some of the contents of the package. So in here, they provide you with some cutting materials, some acrylic, etc., which I always like a company that provides that. It's good to do a starting test. You've also got a little brush just to clean off the laser head or any of your parts. Also, you've got some um, cards that you can engrave onto and a measurement tool. So this is for the actual um, focusing of the machine itself. And there'll be another part in there that you have to connect up, which you can see, along with some cable ties. We also have some more cable ties. So there's a bundle of those. And next out is a USB adapter. So this is a type C to a type A adapter. This is so that you can connect it up at the back of the machine, but we'll go into a bit more detail. And that is pretty much everything out of the box. Don't fear, there are some items within the actual unit itself. It's always a bit of a shock when you don't see connectors and cables, etc. cetera. Um, just to save a bit of space, they actually store a lot of it within the unit itself. So let's remove some of the acrylic cover. Um, as you'll see on top, you have the touch screen, and that is one of its unique features. And the way that it's designed is that you literally could run this machine straight from the screen. So there is no real need to connect up to laptops or computers. So you could use this at craft fairs, and which for me is a real key seller, especially if you're a little bit strapped for time or space, etc. It's nice to have that. So having a look inside, you'll notice that we've pulled out a smoke pipe. Now, this is another unique feature for that. All the other smaller machines like this didn't have that, and you didn't even have the... Um, the flange interface which um, connects up the pipe to the back of the machine for me that is an amazing feature and something that should come with all of these smaller ones so if you do go to craft fairs and you have an extraction unit you can take that so for me i'm based in the uk so as you can see you have the power brick which is just literally all built into one and pops into the back of the machine which we'll show a bit later on in the video so pulling out the rest of this foam you'll notice that it now reveals the actual laser head and the uh, bed that it can cut and engrave onto. I'm going to go into one of the key features again is the fact that the bed is a combination of two different types of usage. But like I say, I'll go into a bit more detail later on in the video when I remove that and show you. So there's quite a bit of foam in there, so make sure you check the whole unit uh, just to ensure that uh, there is no damage to it when you turn it on or risk of any fire or damage. Okay, so that's everything removed from the unit. It does have this unique um, cantilever type door, which is interlocked. So if you lifted it up and you were lasering, it would, should actually cut that out as part of their safety feature. So taking a look at what you will receive in the package when you order this, you have the power bricks and various spares that you can laser engrave onto them. So USB-C cables, uh, an easy to use guide, the smoke pipe and flange, so for extraction, a brush to clean off your items, USB-C adapter and focal point tool, and the power brick, of course and a USB connector if you wanted to connect up to the laptop. So let's take a look over this now. You'll notice a removable uh, acrylic lid. 
Now, I don't believe this is interlocked. So if you was to remove this during lasering, I think that you could access a moving part and lasering. If you was probably doing that, you probably shouldn't be doing lasering in the first place because everything has some sort of danger and overriding those sort of things. A little bit later on in the video, I'm going to show you a bit more detail about what I was talking about, the multi-purpose of this bed. Now, previous models that I've reviewed didn't have that option, so I really like this unique feature. On the right hand side you'll notice some warning labels and sort of ratings for this so this is a class one laser so it has some interlocks and safety features built in at the back of the machine let's go over this now and what's available okay so it is adjustable so if you want to do any lasering onto bottles so you can heighten that and it has the gauge you have the power point uh, the indicator light power switch type c and arr port for the uh, lasering of bottles a little holder for the focal gauge so you don't lose that and once again just another cool feature i'm really sold on is this attachment for the smoke pipe and all of the other reviews that I've done with these types of models didn't have that. You had to go online and print your own. And once again, just some power ratings, etc. So taking a look at the top of the machine, once again, I don't know whether that's interlocked. It doesn't look like it is. So you do have access. It is a core XY setup. So you're going to get a decent rigidity on the lasering. So and you can make some adjustments and this is where you'll make an adjustment at the top of the laser itself and near the motor there's a little twisty knob there and that's where you'll lower and heighten your focal length so before we carry on let's take a quick word from today's video sponsor pcb way or a pcb board manufacturer you have different selections so you can select pcb prototype pcb assembly fpc rigid flex advanced pcbs CNC and 3D printing and SMD stencils. They also have an assembly service promotion on at the moment, so click on that. It's giving you an option for one to 20 pieces assembly. So definitely check out and quote for that. So they cover worldwide delivery. So if you've got an amazing project you want covered and you want a PCB board or any type of 3D printing, they are the team for you. Check them out, click on the chat, give them a shout. That's PCB way today's video sponsor okay so back to the um igo laser pixie so as you'll notice from the front we have the touch screen we have the work control button and the access to the manual z access through the lid and um, you also have the cantilever door so that should shut that machine off and right now we've switched it on from the back and you'll see the actual touch screen itself and what we're going to do is we're going to go into some details about what it's capable of doing throughout this. You do receive a pen and you can use this. You can use a hand if you would like. But for, for purposes of this video, we'll use what was actually supplied. So as you'll notice from the screen now, you can actually add some of your own writing in there. And you can do projects straight from the offset. There is no hard setup on this. It is so easy to use. Now, it does have a, a built-in SD card, so there are some projects. And when it also, when you actually go to do the laser, it gives you some advice on what sort of power ratings and speeds to use. And it will actually give you a diagram on the screen and tell you what it would look like, bearing in mind what type of material you've chosen. It also gives a materials list on there, which we'll show you a bit later. Now, moving the actual machine, you can actually do this by the screen as well. As you can see, home in the device by pressing the middle there, it's all toggled and you can change the speed, etc. It's really easy to use. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual main screen now. So there are various options to choose from, um, all very easy to use, very touch and sensitive as well, so it reacts very well. So you do have, like I said, a SD card built into the actual main board and it gives you a various projects that you can do some practicing with. It's always good to do that, especially if you're a novice, if you're not too sure. That was a project that I did earlier, just putting hay, a nice simple one. If you have a USB disc that you have some projects on, you pop that in the back and then it will show highlighted on the screen. 
It also tells me that I can change the rating of this. So this one's a 5 watt. You can get a 3 watt, 5 watt and 10 watt. So make sure that you select the right rating. I'm not completely sure as to what that would do to the machine if you had the wrong rating. It probably helps getting it right and it does all the settings and bases and stuff like that. So in here you'll notice it's got some examples. It's got the SD card and USD desk. Um, also some other features, so the safety enclosure, um, tilt detection, and uh, vibration assistance as well. Once again, you can select your laser and motion mode so you can change the type. So if you're doing normal lasering with the machine or you ha have the attachment for the roller to do bottles, etc., make sure you select the right one. So taking a look at some of the settings, so you've got lock screen, how long the screen can be on for, you can clear the SD card, I wouldn't suggest doing that because it does have some packages on there. And you do have Wi-Fi connection and various other settings such as firmware updates, so this will be in here as long as you are linked to the Wi-Fi, this will update automatically, no problems at all, so there's no fiddling about. It's like I said to you, it's almost like you don't need the computer at all for this unless you have some specialist projects, but you could probably load them onto an SD card, take them with you, and they're always there. So looking at some of these um, other settings now, so you've got QR codes for helpful guides. You also have the about, talking about the actual machine itself. So it's always worth taking a look over that. And then you've got this helpful, you can basically type onto the screen and it gives you some options to delete and remove if you want to start again. I did find that this particular pen was a little bit spongy and not too, um, so it'd probably be worth getting a more sensitive pen, something with a, a thinner nib to it. it, it it's, it's all trial and error. Like I say, you can make lots of changes. You can save this if you have, um, if you're going to a craft show and somebody wants to personalize a key ring, but they want to write it themselves, they can come over and do so. And I think that's a brilliant feature. Everything at the top of the screen are just notifications. So it does give you some error messages. So if you have anything that um, seems to pop up and doesn't work, it will give a brief description on how to sort that out. And you can clear those messages once you've um, reacted to them. So taking a look inside, this is where the laser is built in. Now it's all pre-installed, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, definitely check the rating on it to make sure that what you're typing in is the correct one. So I know that this is the five watt once I selected that. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna select my five watt laser. Now this must make some changes to the settings within the actual unit, so it's definitely worth making sure that you get this right. The other good feature with this is if in the future you wanted to have a more powerful laser, you can actually buy these as separate attachments on the website. And I'll leave a link in the description with all of the information for the Pixie and for these attachments. Okay, so it's going to run through some different tests now. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at these different tests that it can do. I know that it has like vibration tests, etc. So we'll just take a look at that. So the first thing it's going to ask me to do is just check out uh, the actual laser itself to make sure it's uh, performing right. As soon as you can see the little blue dot, which I'm pointing to on the screen, you can verify that. It's also doing a vibration detection. It's very difficult to see, but it is vibrating very gently. And a lot of the modern 3D printers use that. It's just if you bang into the desk or etc. or if there's something not quite right, it'll pick that up. And it runs through all these. So it's also checking the SD card is being installed. And the final one will be, which is the final check for this, is that the self-test is complete. So taking a look at the back, this is the extraction pipe. So once again, you've got the, uh, the adapter, which just twists and clicks. Then you can twist on the actual pipe itself, and that is your extraction. There is a little fan inside, but obviously your extractor will provide enough exhaust for that to work. And I'll be using one of mine that I have in the shop. So the other tool that I actually got with this kit was a little gift uh, box. And in the gift box, we've got various items such as a pair of goggles, which I have plenty of. So it's always good to see some more. A little bag of key rings, laserable items, etc. Um, some 
other types of key rings so different materials such as leather um we've also got the business card so these um metal business cards that you can laser engrave on and there's a nice big set of that so if you want to make some uh business cards for events and stuff that you go to you can do that with this the other things that it has in there are the actual roller itself now i don't believe this comes as standard this is one of the early bird kits that we were sent so to review and in this early bird kit was obviously a little selection of things that you can use for lasering and the roller itself now the roller is totally compatible with this machine and using the height adjustment on the back of the machine this is where this will come into action but like i said earlier on in the video i won't be doing any laser projects with this particular model today we'll do that in a further video this is really just to go through everything that's in the box some of the functionality etc so i appreciate algo laser for sending me this little kit so taking a little bit more look at the roller itself you do have a motor you will need to select the correct setting on the screen and you have various cables. This particular cable has a number of different adapters. It's all clearly marked and provides you with enough length of cable to do the job. Now, once you've done that, you will need to adjust these, which I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So let's just take a quick look at that. Okay, so what you wanna do is just remove those bolts and reconnect them up in the up position. Now, now that it's in the up position, you will know that there is an access underneath. So this kind of eradicates the safety feature. So take that into consideration if you have small children around or vulnerable people. This is where you will use the roller or even can be used for larger project items that don't fit under the normal regulated size. Um, you can connect the roller at the back of the machine, which is clearly marked with the AAR. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'll put the bottle. This is kind of the process that it would be there for. Um, you will need to select the correct setting on the touchscreen. It's all there. The next thing I want to talk about is the bed, which I described earlier as something that I was really pleased with. Now, some of the other models I've worked with, they did have a removable bed that was not clamped down, and this did move about on some prints or, or sorry, some cuts and lasers, and it vibrated, so your, your actual item would move about. So using the four bolts, you can remove this plate and swap it over. The top plate is for use for engraving. And this bottom part is the honeycomb sort of a feature. So this is brilliant for cutting and you can re-screw that down. So it is versatile and completely usable. So one side is honeycomb for cutting and the other side is for engraving. For me, this really counts as a big win for Algo Laser. So what we're going to do now is take a little bit of a look over the machine again and do a final recap of my thoughts on this laser engraver okay so that brings us to the end of today's video on the algo laser pixie 5 watt laser now having used this now for a few weeks i must say it's very easy to use very easy to set up the touchscreen is a real standout feature along with the honeycomb bed that's already supplied with this meaning that you can do some amazing projects the fact that you can take these to craft fairs and not have to take additional items such as laptops etc now my next video that i'm going to be bringing to you is more of a project basis so you'll see some laser projects some cutting projects i wanted to focus mainly on the actual system and the features of this algo laser so once again thank you to the algo laser team for sending me this to review and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and look forward to the next step of the video take care everyone phil from 3db uk